like the American library because um, it's like we're a family. Actually, I don't live very far away, but I discovered it by pure chance, just walking across and I thought, wow, American library. This is a really good environment to come to, to have a connection with the uh, American English world. Having books there that are so useful for my revision, for my essays, for information on English history, literature, that all, all I want is here. The first thing our twins say when they get off the bus is, Dad, let's go to the library. What more can a parent want? The most useful part of the library has been the, the availability of the internet. There's also a lot of big old books and I like to read about them. It's a community center for the neighborhood, for the French, and for every expat from all over the world. And there is no other place, in, in, there is no centre culturel any longer, there is no other library. The American Library in Paris is the largest English language library on the European continent. It's a dynamic crossroads of French, American, and expatriate life in Paris. An essential resource for literature, from the classics to the bestsellers. A vibrant center of learning for all ages and nationalities, and all who share a passion for the English language. In contemplation, in conversation, or in a crowd. I had known about the library from when, from my earlier years in Paris back in the 1970s so, uh, already, but I rediscovered it, and they were some of the happiest days in my Parisian years because the library is beautifully situated right up there on uh, General Camus, and there was a kind of uh, magic in the feeling of being in this enclosed and even cloistered and restful, serene space. I've always felt, ever since I got to know the American library in Paris, that it was a, it was a, it was a home away from home. Not only physically, but, but uh, intellectually and culturally. And politically to some extent. There's something about an expatriate library that's both that piece, that little temple of commonplace civilization, and that also is a tentacle, an emissary, a piece of another civilization residing uh, in an alien one that's deeply moving. The American Library in Paris was a phoenix that rose from the ashes of World War I. More than a million books were sent to American servicemen during the war. These makeshift camp libraries inspired a group of American expatriates to establish a permanent library in Paris. In the early years, Edith Wharton served on the Board of Trustees and Ernest Hemingway and Gertrude Stein wrote for the library's magazine. They were followed by successive generations of literary lights, French and American. Today, the tradition continues, with programs exploring not just books, but the arts, current events, and much more. The library showcases American society, history, and culture, and the global reach of the English language. A popular evening series with authors and other prominent thinkers draws audiences from across Paris and beyond. It's a place where people explore the history and the mystery of France and its continuing dialogue with the United States. In 1964, the library purchased its present quarters at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. Its current holdings include more than 120,000 volumes and a historic archive of American periodicals found nowhere else in Europe. The library provides professional guidance and tools to understand new research technologies. A staff of dedicated librarians is assisted by scores of volunteers. Volunteering here has made things so different because I'm now meeting international people and for my mum and me that's something really great to experience because we're expats and we hardly know anyone and we don't speak the language very well and it's just, it's a brilliant place to meet, meet new people and to have an experience in life.
programs we have are lap sits for one to three year olds, the Wednesday story hour, Saturday we have activities for kids six and up, and that might be a treasure hunt, might be a musical guest. Then we also have book groups for ages nine to 12, and we have teen nights. The library is full of books, full. And the people at Storytelling say to um, kids that reading is so fun and interesting. I really like, I really like reading thanks to them. You often see kids who are just content to sit and read and be quiet and have that time. They don't need to go find a computer or play a video game and it's really, really wonderful to see. When I come here, I take books and uh, it's like we're in another world. I think a world without books might be a little boring. There's something really important I think about holding knowledge in your hand and that really is what a book is. I mean, you can't really recreate that feeling. When it's just an electronic book, it's just a text. But, but a book, it's, uh, it's a story in itself. This library is be beyond, I mean, I really can't exp explain my gratefulness. As the American Library in Paris looks to serving new generations in its second century, it remains committed to its heritage in Europe and to its place as a center for literature, learning, culture, and community. <laughs>